better look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. Before you play, better button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful week of checking these buttons. We got a full week. Chapters down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. And of course, that sub button is right there. Please help the channel grow, as always, on the race to 50K. Well, at least, you know, in the last several months. So thank you guys for amazing love. We's about to get into it because we got a hot one. Ladies and gents, let's go. All right now for them Guilty Gear Stripe buttons that need to be checked. So y'all know if you're in the Guilty Gear community, there's definitely been some online issues, right? With some glitches and even hacker issues and whatnot. The devs have definitely had a lot on their plate, right? Community being very vocal. We've did like a video or two concerning this and now they've recently updated as well. I think this one was actually updated like three or four days ago. But anyway, they posted this fairly recently saying to all Guilty Gear Strive players, we have an announcement regarding our plans to address the ongoing issues with the network mode. Then you can see right here where they post saying, thank you for your continued interest in Guilty Gear Strive. This is Ken, producer of Guilty Gear Strive. We sincerely apologize for the long wait for the solution to the network issues occurring since March. At this time, I would like to share the schedule for release of the patch addressing these issues. Plan release date, May 25th, PT. Contents fixed for an issue preventing players from entering online lobbies and player match rooms. Fix for an issue preventing players from initiating matches from dual stations. Fix from an issue involving abnormal ping numbers during online matches. Fix for an issue involving the game sometimes crashing when attempting to enter a player match room. Although we would like to get this patch out to all of you as soon as possible, sufficient time for testing is needed to ensure that no additional issues are caused by the many adjustments made not only to the Guilty Gear Strive game application, but also to the external services involved. We appreciate your understanding despite the continued inconvenience. The fixes for these errors have had no impact on the scheduled month of releases for the upcoming additional character. I ask for your patience until we share more about this release. Thank you for your continued support, Guilty Gear Strive. Then on that note, I noticed they also posted um, about their, what is it, the Arc World Tour, right here, uh, information on the screen. So Arc System Works posted this saying, 2023 is coming. Be sure to follow our esports Twitter. And then they post that, visit our official website website and then they have a video which I'll start to put on the screen right now okay and then of course here's a clip right here uh, basically it's for Guilty Gear Strive obviously the prize pool is a hundred thousand they go on to say first place is fifty thousand damn so that's some good money not Street Fighter 6 money but still they say now with LCQ so hype video right who will reach the finals FGC reacting, and I noticed some of the comments below are like, what's up with DNF Duel? DNF Duel, what the hell ever happened to DNF Duel? Others are like, I'm surprised there's not other games, or actually, I'm not surprised to hear there's no other games in Just Strive. But obviously, that's just some of the reactions. A lot of people are excited. They're hyped for the new world tour. There you go. So on one hand, you got the Strive community seems to still be doing the thing. Devs are actually listening. They're like, yo, we know online has been damn near impossible. We plan to fix it. They got the world tour coming up. Others are concerned that there's no DNF duel, but community's still doing their thing. Do you think 100,000 is something to gloat about at this time, this day and age, when we throwing around $2 million on the CPT? Or do you think, nah, it's, it is what it is for this particular community? Let me know. All right, next for them fake ass MK12 news buttons that need to be checked. So as you know, we are waiting for a damn announcement for MK12. We received a couple of teasers, a lot of news, a lot of fake news coming out as far as like leaks and predictions and whatnot. We're waiting, but I think one popular uh, prediction is that we're gonna get something this month, right? Could be like by next week or something like that. A lot of people predicting that we should get a, a for show, like a legit trailer within the next week or two and everybody's looking forward to that. But in the meantime, there's a lot of fake ass news. Ed Boon posted this the other day saying, great video by Uncaged Games. And I'm gonna put Uncaged information on the screen right now. This is actually my first time learning of them. Link down below, definitely check them out. Apparently, Ed really got on board with the video he made the other day talking about shooting down the rumors and you can see the thumbnail right here. So it says, what about Mortal Kombat 12 exclusive news reveal? Like this video, uh, you can see like in the thumbnail right here, right? 
There's a lot of theories or conspiracy theories that have been released with MK12 because we haven't really gotten much. A lot of them are straight shit. And we've seen people say this in the past. I think Rufa Munger said it within the last month or so. Now we're seeing Ed Boon. There's like, we're tired of seeing bullshit, right? Because people are pulling stuff straight out of their asses and <laughs> making whole videos, right? Like even the thumbnail here, and I remember seeing this tweet as well. It says exclusive upcoming release. Is it, uh, is it a reboot called, a reboot called Mortal Kombat 1? You can even see where it lists the prices, right? Where I guess they're going off of some tweet saying the standard edition will cost $69.99 on PlayStation 5, uh, premium edition 109, and the collector's edition will cost $249.99. So Uncaged pretty much breaks it down, calling a lot of it ridiculous, like we have no proof, and Ed Boon co-signs it. If you got Ed co-signing it, you gotta believe that Uncaged knows what the hell he's talking about. I see others as well, like SMG Princess commenting on it saying, Ed Boon has debunked the leak. Remember, when it comes to Mortal Kombat news, if it ain't come from me, okay, okay, Princess, we see what you're doing. If it ain't come from me, it ain't true. Not leaks, I don't do that. Don't believe everything you see on Twitter. So she says, this info is false. There is no legit sources. The original tweet also had no source. They just went on a hunch. FYI, you can't data mine Mortal Kombat 1 since it's not yet on any PC files. You can't data mine any game that doesn't have any data. How y'all eating this up? But I guess people are calling bullshit, including Ed Boon. They're like, we're tired of this shit. Y'all are getting these little crumbs and you're stretching it into a whole damn buffet. You know what I'm saying? Enough is enough. As of right now, it seems like all we have are theories teasers and literally jack to the shit. We don't know anything else. We're probably all gonna find out at the same time, right? Which you gotta give props to NRS for being able to keep it this, type li this tight lipped for this long. And I think SMG Princess said it best when she said, Netherrealm Studios got a tight grip on Mortal Kombat 12 leaks tighter than my Let me know what you think. All right, next up, last but not least, before we get out of here, them Street Fighter VI burnout update buttons that need to be checked. Profile on the screen, I wanna give a huge shout out to Ryu Apprentice, right? Shared this, actually tagged me in it as well, um, I believe just yesterday, all right? Well, actually, like a day or two ago, but they tagged me on yesterday. So right here, asking me to check these buttons, but saying while I was messing around, uh, tagging, who's that, Chu x 0 x or Chucks, I should say, in the lab in Street Fighter VI, we saw that burnout is also affected by movement in neutral. Here is a clip that shows the recovery in comparison between walking forward, backward, and jumping. So if you get burned out, try not to jump so much, please share. And this is crazy. At first, I didn't even know what I was looking at, but look, on one side, obviously you see standing still, walking forward, walking back, and then jumping. And on the left side, it shows the meter and how like slow or fast it actually rebuilds under these categories, all right? So you can see right here, all right? They're starting on empty. Standing still, walking forward right off the bat, you see it is already refilling. Standing still just started, walking back, I guess is in third you know, close second, I would say, and then jumping is definitely last. That is slow as hell. Walking forward is about to fill up, bam. You're already filled up with walking forward. Jumping is still lagging as hell. Standing still, walking back are close second, bam. So walking back just a little more, and then jumping still hasn't refilled yet. Holy shit, I had no idea. No idea, and I know we're just like getting to the intricacies of Street Fighter VI right now, so we're just getting this information. I'm sure this has been under the radar because this is my first time hearing of it, so I don't think it's been too mainstream, right? But this is dope. I know this is kind of going viral on Twitter right now. Um, this is gonna be helpful, right? Because I have a damn bad tendency to jump a lot. And now knowing it's that this is gonna help you, you know, get that meter back, this is a huge thing, right? I love that the system is built in a way to try to get you to think outside the box and to act less scrubby. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop jumping. Stop doing all this other bullshit. Use your damn brain. You know what I'm saying? Use your footsies and whatnot, and the meter will come back faster. And I'll also put a Ryu Apprentice profile on the screen for the YouTube, right? So definitely check out his YouTube channel. 
profile down below, or I should say the link down below, give him that sub, give him that love. And there's actually another one. So he posted this as well saying, update, it not only applies to burnouts, but also to normal drive gauge as well. So feel free to go all ham aggressive while building those bars. So there it is y'all, the Street Fighter Six tech is real. We are just getting the tip of the iceberg. Game is around the corner. I'm ready. I, there's so many things coming out. There's so many moves to make literally within the next couple of weeks. I'm hype. How y'all feeling? Let me know. There it is. One more again. Thank you guys for the amazing love. We will see you soon, if not tomorrow. Tomorrow's at HT. I'm going to try my best to post them tomorrow because I got some good ideas. But anyway, if not tomorrow, we'll see you the next day. Love y'all forever. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love you forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Oh, you can Today on Butt Check, Dirty Low, he's standing right behind his camera. I could give you guys the best information right now. Totally. I got some good shit for you. But Dirty Damn. Low is interrupting everything. Everything. I'm a let real newsman, okay? Let me, let me got the news. I can't turn the camera. Yeah. But yeah, if I could, look, let me point this bro, right here. Bro, he's here. ruining the camera. I'm ruining the shot. I was about to give you MK12 release day. Nope. Street Fighter Six. Uh, nope. I was going to give you free you, you ain't even got the tech for that. I was going to give you all you of don't, it. You don't even tech know how to dry brush. I'm playing Tekken 8 right now. Okay. I was going to give it to you. Name me one character in Tekken. Woo! Give me a character, one person in Tekken. I'll give you all the characters. Well, give me, name, okay, I'll name, give you name law. one character. One character. I'll give you Law. Okay. Give Mar me two. Martial Law. Uh, Jude Law. <laughs> law and Order. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think you would name one. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't check these buttons, baby. <laughs>